to move my life forward, to move my destiny forward, to move my family forward. Change things in my favor. Lord, let this thing, let this service mark a turning point. Change things in my favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this service, God is opening your financial doors. Amen. That amen didn't touch the roof. Amen. In this service, every door connected to your financial new door, God is opening it for you. Amen. Wherever they have locked the door against you financially, the padlock will break in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever is responsible for your lack, today mark the end in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard shall be the order of the day in my life. Congratulations. 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 Put those hands together for the Lord and please be seated. In this miracle banquet service, God is opening your financial doors. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Creating your money channels. In the first service, we looked at the God factor as the major factor. The God factor is what everyone needs. Times and season can change, but God is constant. And as long as God is constant, things must keep working. Doors must keep opening. When men are saying there is a casting down for you, there shall be a lifting up. Why? God is at work for you. In this second service, we are looking at the wisdom key for becoming a money magnet. Who wants to be a money magnet? Hey. Hey. Who wants to become a money magnet? You see, people can pretend eh? They can pretend. Now, let me, let me start by saying this. Many people, including church, they have wisdom for everything, but they don't have wisdom for money. They have wisdom in many matters, in every matter. But when it comes to the wisdom for money, you know they. We have been used to tradition, but tradition is increasing frustration. Money does not answer to hard work, but to smart work. If you will arrive at your promised land, hear me and hear me well, you need the wisdom of God. Time will fail us to read Proverbs chapter 8. He said, I, he say, I cause them that love me to inherit substance. Talking about wisdom. I, I cause them that love me to do what? The harder you work, the lesser you earn. If 
people that are doing the hard work are the ones that are earning more. Why are we barrow pushers? Truck pushers, not anymore. Why are bricklayers not anymore? Because they are using more energy. Am I correct? More and in fact, they in fact they need more energy to do the work. That's why if you lack wisdom, you will lack money. If you lack wisdom, you also lack good jobs. There are jobs and there are jobs. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Lack of wisdom is a sign that is a cost of poverty at work around your life. Poverty is not anybody's friend. And for your information, it's a universal citizen. It does not require immigration visa to enter any country. Am I saying something to somebody? There are still poor people in America. There are poor people in Britain. Am I correct? It's a universal citizen. It doesn't need immigration visa to enter any country. In fact, it has green card in every country. When poverty is at work, frustration will be seen around you. When poverty is at work, you are frustrated. In fact, poverty in, brings about lack of respect. A poor man's voice is not hacking. That's why in a family, if you are poor, they don't allow you to talk. Am I saying the truth? They say if somebody talk, you two go talk. Keep quiet. <laughs> Lack of money brings about financial slavery. We are going to say something in this service. I, said, I mentioned it in the first service. Look beyond your job. Your job is not your limit. You are the one that creates the limit. Look beyond your what? It's true that poverty creates a limitation, but there are jobs that also create limits. Because as far as that job is concerned, there are things you can't afford. There are things you are limited in accomplishing. Your dreams are limited. Why? The job. It's good to start with the job, but I want you to hear this look beyond the job. The real essence for job is not limited to fulfillment. Because some people they just feel that if they don't go out in the morning, that they are not fulfilled. They don't dress like every person, wear a tie. Go out by 7 a.m. and come back like every other person is coming, that they are not fulfilled. It's a lie. Having job is not equal fulfillment. You can have job and not fulfill anything. You can have job and be paying debt. Am I saying the truth? The, today is what? Some people's salary will finish next tomorrow. True or false? Now, is that job? Meaning the person will start living in debt for the remaining days. That's no job. So having job is not equal fulfillment. The essence of job is to meet needs. Is to do what? 
That's why I say you must go beyond the job. You must go beyond the job. But there is one simple truth you need to understand this morning. Money simply takes the character of the person handling it. How you handle money determines how it comes to you. That is why there is an attitude you need to create this flow. Papa said, you can't lack what you like. You can't do what? As far as you like it, you will attract it. That's why every one of you here, you are a money magnet. Say with me, I'm a money magnet. Now, let's take it from this angle. A magnet placed anywhere begin to attract and magnetize objects. Am I saying the truth? So, the stronger the magnet, the stronger it attracts. Begins to magnet. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul. Do what? So our mind, by reason of its capacity, has the power to attract into our life what we desire. That brings us to what I call the power of attraction. You can attract into your life what you desire. Every human is a human, is a living magnet. So you attract by time what you want. You attract by time what you want. But the truth is this. If you are not getting it now, it then means that your magnet is not strong enough. So for you to attract what you want, you must become the person that will attract it. Many of us want it where we have not yet become the person. You must become the person. There are people looking for jobs. There are other people jobs are looking for. True or false? I was listening to one of my mentors yesterday. That his testimony fired me up a little further. He said one of his friends has been long they lost touch. That, that young man had one characteristic. Every time you meet him, he's talking about one book or another book. And if he's giving you gifts, you always find him giving you a book. So somehow, somehow, he met him in U.S. So after the garden, just told him, I know you. He said, I know you too. He called his name. He called his name. So they began to chat. So he now asked him, what is he doing? And I said, well, that he's working, that um, he's working, and this kind of work he's doing now is uh, very okay for him, that uh, he's paid per hour, that he's, so when he finished the job, he just go and relax and face other things. So in the process of talking, he said that he's paid 1,000 pounds per hour. Say with me, A. Hey. But we discover how he got there. That he paid 1,000 uh, 1, pounds per hour. So if he works 10 hours, we just rest and close for the day. Anytime he comes back to work, he continues. The payment continues. He said that his wife too have joined the league, that the wife is paid 
250 pounds per hour. Say with me, life is good. <laughs> but I want you to know this morning that you can increase the power of your magnet. You can increase the strength of your mind. What you attract today is what you built up yesterday. You don't just suddenly become it. You build up the person to attract the thing. If you don't build up the person, you can't attract the thing. It's not a coincidence. So, you must allow the build-up process. Because the build-up process is a pointer to your promised land. Where I am is good now, but this is not my rest. This is not where I'm supposed to be. This is where I'm supposed to be. So you begin to build up to arrive at that place. The reason why I'm saying this is because all this one they are complaining that uh, no job, no job. Where it? You never see anything. It will get to a point the government may not be able to pay more workers. They are already manifesting it. Federal Secretariat, we used to know this is not going for Federal Secretariat. It looks like a dead zone now. Because nothing is happening there. True or false? So all those that are looking for Federal Service, Federal Civil Service, I'm giving you a signal. Oh. Because everybody is looking for pension job. Pension job is good, but it's a limitation. Why do I say it's a limitation? People that are looking for pension job, they have fixed their mind or salary. Say with me, salary. <laughs> so that when they retire, there will be something that they will still be paying them. Why limit yourself with salary when you can achieve more? When you can do more? When you can accomplish more? To tell you the truth, people work for money. But the rich money work for them. Every person looking for a job is working for money. But if you want to be truly rich, money must work for you. You can work in Dangote, but you can never own Dangote. Am I correct? How do I become a money magnet so that I can create channels? Number one, You need what we call the power of faithfulness. Now, I want you to hear this. Every one of us will pass the test of faithfulness. God will test you. Scripture says, He that is faithful in little. He said, more shall be what? So even when you are saying, I'm looking for a bigger job, God will be saying, the one I give you, what you don't do? What have you accomplished? What has he added to your life? What are the signs of growth? Faithfulness is the ability to manage small and make it grow big. In Matthew 25, Jesus talked about the parable of talent. Reading from verse 29 down, go down. He said he gave one one, gave another one two, gave another one three. The one they gave three engaged his own and he became six. The one they gave two became four. The one they gave one 
He said, I know that you are a wicked and shrewd master that like reaping where you didn't sow. So when you went out, I dug a hole and put the money so that when you come back, I will give it back to you because I don't want trouble. He that is faithful in little. He that is faithful in little. Richard Branson wrote a book. The title of the book is Small is Beautiful. There are people here that if you give them small things, it's like you are insulting them. If you give them small things, you are insulting them. Small is not a demotion. God wants to prove you whether you can manage small before you can grow big. You must first of all learn how to manage small before you can do what? Grow big. So anytime you, uh, you demonstrate the ability to manage the resources in a small way, you are empowered. Your magnet is enhanced. You can grow big. You can manage big. Some people, their wisdom sense has been blocked. Why? Nothing is enough. Nothing is what? Enough. I remember one sister, Juliet, I met in Delta State of Ozoro. She started a recharge car business with 5,000. How much? She grew that recharge car business till I was transferred. She has grown to become a sub-trade partner with MTN. And for you to become a sub-trade partner, at least your business must have grown up to the level of 20 million. She has a daily turnover of 2 million plus every day. Say with me, every day. She now opened a branch for the husband in Nugeli with 500,000. He started carrying fine, fine guests. The business closed under one month. He said, I better come back, come back. Come stay here. Say with me, come stay here. Anything that we grow in your hand, there must be proof. Look, let me tell you, if you mean a change, it will work. All this one you are saying that uh, I need a, is a lie. Me, too, I have my own track history. My own business grew from 38,400 to wherever it is today. There are some things I cannot mention now because of the service. But I made sure it didn't die in my hand. I made sure that it kept growing. I made sure it kept growing, it kept growing, it kept growing. God will prove your faithfulness. If you must create money channel, stop being a squanderer. When money enters your hand, what comes to your mind? Your faithfulness is being tested. Is it new phone? New shirt? New shoe? Your faithfulness is being tested. Scripture says he gives seed to the sower and what? Bread to the eater. Your faithfulness is being tested. So I said to myself, if he can work for Juliet, he can work for anybody. He can work for what? And good at him, she's not in a city called Lagos. She's not in a city called Portacot. She's not in a city called Abuja. So that you won't say it's because she's in a city. He that wants to grow, we grow. He that does not want to grow, we not what? The problem is not the place, neither is the problem the people. The problem is you. He that is faithful in little more shall be added. Do you know God proves your faithfulness to determine the next door he opens? Oh, in one of the shilos, a testimony of a woman, a teacher, a teacher, 
from her salary, she was able to carve out 3,000. She started using it to sell the same recharge card. From that recharge card, she was able to build a three bedroom flat. When I was in Agbaro, a widow, say with me, a widow, was selling Akara, fried yam, and other things. It was from there she was able to train two of her sons in University of Calabar, and from there also built a four bedroom duplex, a four bedroom flat. I went, in fact, when I, when I came back from the dedication of that house, I couldn't rest. I said, if this woman succeeds and I fail, eh? And just will welcome me with Koboko. <laughs> Why did you fail? Hear me? Anywhere you go, God teaches you a lesson. Teaches you a lesson. If a widow that is not a graduate, that did not see the four walls of university, can succeed and you fail, Koboko is waiting for you. I'm telling you the truth. You will be a disappointment not only here, but also to heaven. A widow, a widow selling a cara, selling fried yam. Morning, she will sell in the morning and she will sell late in the evening. And she succeed. Number two. What do you need? You need knowledge. Say with me, knowledge. My people perish for lack of knowledge. My people perish for lack of what? Knowledge. Now let me say this. Many of us seated here now, we have knowledge on many matters, but we have few knowledge about money. Jim Rohn said, anything you want to increase in your life and in your hand, increase your knowledge in that thing. Your knowledge about money is so shallow. In fact, you don't even have it. What you don't know, you can't make. You need to know it before you can make it. You need to know it before you can create it. Knowing it shows you that it's possible. Knowing it shows you how it is made, channeled, reinvested for profit before it can be turned to fortune. Permit me to say this now. 90% of everybody seated here now has been involved in one business or the other. Am I lying? So why didn't it grow in your hand? Why didn't it go from one level to another? Little knowledge about money. That's why you need regular education on financial literacy. I said it, okay, it was in the youth Easter camp. I said, if anywhere you go, find this book and buy it. The Conspiracy of the Rich. The conspiracy of the rich. The rich will keep getting richer till Jesus comes. And the poor will keep getting poorer. It's not a cause. Because there's anything you want to hide from a black man, put it in writing. You will never touch it. You need to keep increasing your knowledge. You must know what makes money work, how it works. You can be involved in a business now. You are making money, but you are not investing. So people are in business just to satisfy their immediate needs. No. You must have a vision. You must have a plan. 
A wise man said, if you want to become an expert in making money, you must practice what you know and you must invest a minimum of 10,000 hours. Say with me, 10,000 hours. So go and do the mathematics when you get back home. Shabi, you want to be rich. Shabi, you want to have multiple channels. They call it multiple stream of income. This one is bringing, the other one is flowing, the other one is working. So if that's what you want to have, hear me, you must be spending hours learning. So as knowledge is increased, you are empowered to attract opportunities. Hear me? One thing knowledge will do for you, it will help you to spot opportunities when others are not seeing it. There is something that can be shown to you now as an opportunity. But because you are ignorant about it, you say, wait a minute, this. wait a minute, this. wait a minute. This. Do you know why? Everybody has been used to buying and selling. Am I correct? Everybody has been used to buying and selling. Everybody has been used to hard work. So when they see opportunity, they may not be able to recognize it as an opportunity. So knowledge with practice will enhance your chance of earning. So the more you learn, you are increasing your chance to earn. Let me say this. If you work for money, you will remain on the same spot. But if you increase your knowledge, you will increase your earning. If you work for money, no other thing will appeal to you. Work. Let me go to work. Let me go to work. I'm not saying go to work is bad though. After all, me, I'm working. Am I not working? But my own working is a different working. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? My mentor said something to me last week. He said, live above your system so that you can see what others can't see. And that will enable you to do what others can do. Live above your system. I said, the only way you can do that is you to tax yourself to know more things that can increase your profit. And hear me, I'm still walking towards it. I've reached some point now. I'm still walking towards to live above my system. No matter where you are walking, there are people that are complaining. But it's not everybody that's complaining. True or false? The next thing you need to empower your magnet to create your channels, you need to fortify your power of imagination. Say with me, imagination. Imagination simply means image formation. Whatever you want, let an image be created. Let the picture stick. Because whatever you can't imagine cannot be created. Your imagination increases your power to attract. No wonder. Proverbs 23 verse 7, as a man thinketh in his heart. So is what? As a man thinketh in his heart. I was looking for my vision board last week. I just discovered that uh, they didn't bring it, so I want to do another one. I have something that looks like this, this board. Anything I want, I must go and get the picture and paste it. Let me be seeing it every day. Whatever you keep picturing very soon, it will become a reality. What are the things you are picturing? 
You can't picture it and it does not appear in your future. It's a rule of life. When Jacob needed to claim back all that he lost in the hand of Laban, he used the same principle. They had to paint the peg and put it on the spots where the sheep come to drink water. So every time they see that thing, the thing stick. It gets registered. And when they mated and become pregnant, all the new ones... They were carrying those spots, those black spots, because the image has been registered. So the thing got formed. So anything you picture now, you will see it in your future. It's a rule of life. It's a rule of life. Even God himself said, this they have begun to imagine, and nothing shall be restrained Nothing can be withheld from them. Now, let me show you this. How many of you have watched that tape that I gave to you? Have you watched it? The Law of Attraction. You have watched it. Now, there was one man in that tape. Five years back, he suffered severe lack. He lacked things, he lacked money, everything. But after coming in contact with the secret called the law of attraction, he was going through it every day, every day. So what he now did, he saw a particular building, a five-acre building with swimming pool and every other thing. Five acre. I didn't say five plots. He now pasted it every day he was watching it. Now, one thing this image will do for you they begin to create opportunities. Say with me, opportunities. Okay. Now, before you, five years later, he was already in that same kind of house with every facility. So the son was playing one day and brought out the carton and saw this picture. I said, Dad, this is our house. This is our house. The man broke down in tears. And the son was now asking, Dad, why are you crying? He said, this is what I saw five years back. And now we are living in the reality of it. He now told the son, son, you can do the same. Whatever you want, begin to picture it now. Before you know what's happening, you will be there. Your mind is a magnet. Whatever you can picture enters your subconscious. You may not have it in your hand now, but very soon, opportunities will come. It will be in your hand. I say it will be in your hand. That's why I said, don't limit yourself to job. What is job? You know, they can just wake up one morning now and sack everybody. Am I saying the truth? They can sack you from the work, but they can't sack you from life. They can't sack your mind. If your mind is still working, now hear me, no matter where you work, no employer can pay you more than 10% of your true value. 10%. I saw a scripture, I read it to, to the staffs. Oh, I wish I'm here with my. Who has amplified? Let me read. Okay, studio, put Genesis 30 verse 30 so that you will see something now. I don't know. Do you have more translation there? Do they have more translation? Okay, now put the one you have first. Let's see now. Genesis 30 verse 30 so that we can see something. The little you had when I arrived has increased greatly. Everything I did resulted in blessing for you. Isn't it about time that I do something for my own family? Put another translation if you have. For you had little before I came, and it has increased and multiplied abundantly. And the Lord has favored you with blessing wherever I turn. But now, when shall I provide for my own house? You they walk, oh. Should be they walk. You they walk for somebody. Now hear me. No matter where you are walking, 
Are you hearing what I'm saying now? There is one work you need to give to yourself. Work your mind to provide for your family. If not, you have failed in that work. Any work you are working anywhere that limits you from giving your family the best, your children the best, you are the failure. Not the place. The place is only a platform. Am I saying something to somebody? Do you have another translation? I wish I remembered I, I would have come with the one in the phone. If you look at 30 different translations, one said, when will I start providing for my household? Now it is time for me to look out for my own interest. Is another translation. Every organization seeks the interest of the organization, not you. They only pay you for you, not for you and your family. You see work? Show me you see work. Are they paying you, your wife and your children? They only pay you for you. That's why I keep saying, don't leave. That's what financial literacy will do to you. You are not limited to any work. No matter where you are working, you are not working 24 hours. Am I correct? Don't tell me you are working 24 hours. You are a liar. Nobody is working 24 hours anywhere. So you have time. Say with me, I have time. I wish I came with the time statistics. We have how many days in a week? We go to work how many days in a week? How many hours do we work in a week? Eight times five. How many hours do we have in seven days? Minus how many hours you work in a week. Hear me? If you give one hour per day, so whatever you are doing, give it three years. You will become a global figure. One hour. Say with me, one hour. Wow. Let me leave it at there. We move to the next one. To enhance the power of your magnet to create channel, you must have what we call the abundance mentality. Say with me, the abundance mentality. Papa said we are not in lack because we are black. We are in lack because our mind is slack. If you have a slack mind, you will have a slack pocket. The abundance mentality is what creates abundance for you. I don't have. It is finished. It is not enough. I don't have. I don't have. I don't get. It's finished. Nothing ever finishes. For my God shall supply. All my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You must have the abundance mentality. Now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Lack is only in your mind. And whatever takes place in your mind will take place in your life. But scripture says where there is no vision, the people do what? You must have an abundance mentality. The moment you start thinking lack, it reduces the power of your magnet. But the moment you begin to think something is coming, a new door is opening, a new channel is opening, before you know what's happening, God will just send one helper or bring someone with an information or bring someone with an opportunity before you know what's happening, your levels have changed. 
So everything that happens to us, as far as finances are concerned, still revolves around us. It still revolves around us. It still revolves around us. Never you carry I don't have. It is not enough mentality. It's a very bad, it's a very bad mentality. A bad one, a terrible one. No school fees. You are the one making it no school fees. But if you can change your mindset, can God lack? Can God say it's finished? Scripture says, for we have the mind of Christ. Even when Jesus went for the crusade, <laughs> they told him that it's a boy here that has two fish and five loaves. He said, tell the people to sit down. Tell the people to sit down. At first, they said, where can we get food for this whole crowd? He said, tell the people to sit down. Something is about to happen. Did it happen or not? Now, if you can't practice it, it can't work for you. If you can't practice it, it can't work for you. If you can't practice it, it can't work for you. The next thing I'm about to say now, if you carry a lack mentality, you will talk lack. Scripture says, hidden in the tongue is the power of life and what? Death. He said, them that love you shall eat the fruit thereof. I don't get money. My money don't finish. Say not before an angel is an error. Because angels, their mission is to execute whatever you say. That's why scripture says you shall have whatsoever you say. So keep saying, supply is coming. Supply is coming. Supply is coming. Money is coming. If you see this book, buy it. Money Comet by Leroy Thompson. Leroy Thompson. Money Comet. Just ask them, do you have that book? If you enter any good bookshop or not this roadside, or any good bookshop, just ask them, do you have that book called Money Comet? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Now, what we are trying to drive out is to let you know that you are not limited to what they call J-O-B, just over broke. Job. Just over what? You can create channels. Channels. And lastly, I've mentioned the use of your mouth, but lastly, I want to let you know this one works. It works for me. It has worked plenty. It's still working. You need what we call more prophetic blessings. Now, something happened. We're in April, Abby. Something happened in March. We went to appreciate Bishop on his birthday. He said something which I will never forget. He said, never be tired giving. Never be what? He says some people, even some of your mates and some of your senior colleagues, they pretend that they don't have and they will never have. They pretend that they don't have and they will never he said, never be tired, give it. It's scriptural. I say, do not be weary in well doing. For in due season, you shall do what? Reap, if you faint not. He said, that's how we too we started. He said, now we have our own cattle ranch. We have cattle. He said, when we look at any person that is dedicated and serious and he wants to marry, we'll just pull out one cow and give the person. You know, when somebody dash your cow for a wedding, what did it remain again? Huh? Everything not finished now. The meat to everybody one chop is available. <laughs> you see, at times we just open the storehouses, just say, 
okay, this person is very, very committed. You give him not only cow, give him cow and rice. What's it the man again? <laughs> Praise God. You will get to that point. I say you will get to that point. But hear me. Prophetic blessings, they unlock doors. They unlock what? Doors. They determine the doors that open. They determine the doors that open. Whether you agree, if you like agree or if you like no agree. But I'm telling you what is working. You may be used to a tradition of good. But I'm telling you the side of the supernatural that is different. Believe the Lord thy God and thou shalt be established. Believe also his prophet, so shall thou prosper. One of my mentors told me something that uh, we, I came back, I couldn't sleep well. He said, he said, we have proved this thing and it has worked and look at where we are now. Look at where we are now. He said, you see this card? You see this card? I am permitted to spend five million naira every day from this card. Whether I'm in U.S., it's five million dollars. If I'm in London, it's five million pounds. He said, that's where I want you to enter. I said, Amen. He said, I know that soon you will be there, but I need to give you rules to live by. When you get to that level, there are rules. There are disciplines. There are things to avoid. There are people to avoid. But hear me. If your head is dry of prophetic blessing, you will, your pocket will be dry of money. A prophet said, by my word, there shall be no rain. Not by the word of the Lord. He said, by my word, there shall be no rain. Meaning, your prophet has power to unlock the heavens. They can unlock the heavens and change the spiritual climate over your life. Am I saying the truth? He said again, by my word, there shall be rain. Did it rain or not? Believe the Lord thy God and thou shalt be established. Believe also his prophets. So shall thou prosper. Meaning, your prophets can create a new channel. They can steer up a new open door. They can steer up opportunities. They can move a helper that will move things in your favor. See this. If it has worked for them, it must work for me. I say it must work for me. Oh. I don't know about you, but it must work for me. Because I don't know what is in your mind. I believe them in total. I believe them complete. Inside out. So anything they say, stick. The little that I have seen is a proof that it is working. And I'm graduating small, small. I'm moving small, small. Who you follow determine what follow you. May you not lack a prophet that will be swearing blessings over your life. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. That's why when you believe a prophetic blessing, your prophet can tell you it shall be well with you. That word, that word it shall be well with you is a compound word. When I mean it shall be well with you, financially it shall be well with you. When other business are closing down, your own will not close down. So the prophetic still plays a major role. There was famine. But God had a place called Goshen for his people. Famine will not stop. But hear me, prophetic blessings also will not cease. Am I saying something to somebody? That's why when men are saying they say casting down, 
for you there shall be a lifting up there shall be a lifting up i said there shall be a lifting up i said there shall be a lifting up it has worked for me it has worked for the people around me it has also worked for some other people that i know it must also work for you oh let me share this testimony and we rise up to pray Pastor Komaya, how many of us know Pastor Komaya? Maybe you have heard of his name or you are seeing him on Facebook. He told me something. This last one we went to honor Mama in his room. He said, He said, Never you join any winner pastor that will speak against your prophet. The moment you sense him, cut off from him. He said, Now God has blessed me. I have given all of Papa's children, including their grandchildren, houses. What did I say? Did you hear what I said? He said, I have given all of Papa's children and his grandchildren houses. He said, see this document now? You see this document? He brought it, he opened it. He said, I have packaged it for Bishop Abue. It's a house. Document, everything, deed of transfer, packaged. Why can't he be blessed? He said, you know it. Follow it. Don't be like others. Rise up to your feet. I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Hear me? In the garden of Eden, there were four streams. There is Pishon, Euphrates. Am I saying something? What was those channels doing? Is one not enough? But God created that channels, multiple channels, multiple streams of income. So it didn't start here, it started in Genesis. I want you to pray. Lord, you are the one that opened it and no man can close. Open doors, channels of supply, of jobs, of business, of opportunity for me. Lift up your voice and pray from the depths of your heart. Open doors. Open my mind to see opportunities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open my mind to see opportunities. Open my mind to see what others can see. Open my mind to see what others can see. Empower my mind to accomplish what others can't accomplish. To touch what others can't touch. To handle what others can't handle. Lift up your voice and pray from the depths of your heart. Today will be the last day you will suffer lack of money, lack of job, Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, open my mind to see what others can see. Waymaker, open my mind to see what others can see. Help me to be faithful. Help me to abide faithful. Help me to walk faithful. Lift up your voice and pray. Help me to abide faithful. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. All eyes closed, all heads bowed. You are here, you are not born again. This is your chance until Jesus opens your life. Nothing good will enter your life. That's why accepting him is your choice. And making that choice is a good choice because it's the guarantee for every major transformation that will take place in your life. 
if you are making that decision right now inside outside inside the auditorium outside the overflow put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me lord jesus i come unto you today i know that i'm a sinner forgive me wash me with your precious blood i reject sin i reject satan come into my life be my lord be my savior in jesus name i pray if you pray that prayer with me wherever you are 